Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. The last, if the last 30 seconds in the studio were broadcast, no one here would be working ever again. Big revelations. Big revelations. It's cheeky in here. We've literally just flown back from London. I mean, literally. William. I'm only joking. It sounded like you did a bottom burp. We are here. We've got a lot to talk about. Before we get into anything, we are sponsored, as always, by Thompson's Tea. Punjana. The good stuff. The, 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 what do they call it? The, 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 the liquid gold. So you two cut it out, whatever you're doing. Just, he looks like he works for the Thompson family. His surname's Thompson. I wanted to know, is he involved? He, look, he looks like a nice road trucker. <laughs> I thought I looked like a debt collector. We look like two fellas that are having coffee at a truck stop. <laughs> <laughs> and it may or may not be bodies in our boots. <laughs> These guys have been making tea since the 19th century, which is crazy. And it's also crazy that the 19th century isn't doesn't isn't years that begin with 19. Like that's annoying. Yeah, call it like that's crazy. Why is yeah. that a thing? No, but what I'm saying is, call the 1800s the 18th century. Yeah. Don't make it the year before because that fuses. That confuse, confuses stupid people. Um, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> but these guys love it. They've been running around since the year dot. Um, they've been making tea right here in Belfast. They source their tea from all over the world, from the, the most premium tea fields of this green earth, and they bring them to Belfast. They're a local company that have been top of the pops for a long time when it comes to the tea game. They make regular tea, Irish breakfast tea, signature blend, decaf, blue wicked tea. They don't, but they should. That'd be fun. That'd be a fun brand collab. Um, you know, just, you know it. Keep drinking it. We're grateful for their, <laughs> we're grateful for their support and we're being fueled by it right now. Thompson's Tea, the cats behind Punjana. Thank you for sponsoring the podcast. We're also sponsored, of course, by Manscaped. The best in men's below the belt grooming. We're talking pubes. What's your situation down there? How are you doing pubically? Ask a friend, speak about it, stop making it a taboo. Go around to your friend. You might need to stage an intervention. You might have a friend who looks like he's giving, you know, Tom Jones in the seven. You might have a friend who looks like he's on Tom Jones' shoulders in the 70s at a concert when he so had an afro deck, he's got Tom Jones's face <laughs> <laughs> oh whoa <laughs> oh do you mean for 20% off and free shipping oh he's Paul Gascoigne apparently <laughs> <laughs> look Gaza uses it Tom Jones uses it I use it we use it in studio before every podcast she have a friend you can do that They've got the lawnmower 4.0 wireless charging technology. It's got a light on it, USB charging, all that. They've got the perfect performance package. They do cologne. They do it all. It great present ideas for a, a young gentleman, an old gentleman, someone in between, a lady, or just someone who likes to collect men's grooming products. Go to manscaped.com. Use the code Tea With Me for twenty percent off and free shipping. Thank you to Manscaped for being our sponsor. And speaking of things we have a patreon too <laughs> I, I forgot I, I forgot Dan told me to mention the patreon too <laughs> patreon.com we have just done early access to tickets for the live podcast in the waterfront hall which um as we recorded this just went on sale and this is great a lot of people buying tickets it's looking very good for this we're a bit nervous putting it on sale and just doing it uh, like a big gig of that size but uh, i think people want to come to it which is always a bonus we did early access for patrons they got in there first we sold about a third of the tickets uh more a quarter um but i said a third and don't worry about that and uh, they're flying out so we'll do that for any live podcast that we put on sale maybe for some of my solo shows we can try and get early access type stuff we've just shot a vlog of our london trip me and Dave went on, Mike shot, uh, that'll go on Patreon for a few days or a week before I put it out public, or maybe I'll just put some clips out public, patreon.com slash TV with me podcast, uh, your support for the podcast is always appreciated. My guests today 
are two very, very, very giddy young men, two cheeky <laughs> young guys, both with beards, both Caucasian. Yeah. My guest on the left, my left, no, my right. You all right today? My right. right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm jet lagged from London. My guest <laughs> is William Thompson, who, can I just say, you look, mate, I've been away for one day and you look like you've really grown up. <laughs> You do, I, you've got, like, his hairstyle is quite like, you know, you've got a bit of product in there, yeah. it's a little bit of a side part, you're wearing a really nice jacket, lovely blue jeans, and your jacket's matching your shoes, yes. and, you know, for a while you've been a young guy, Yeah. you know, you wear maybe some, like, cool young guy clothes, but it seems like you've really just developed a nice style, and yeah, you look like, uh, you look like a nice young dad who's divorced and doesn't get to see the kids very often. Thinking that myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. He also looks like he's had a beating around the face. His eyes are a size of five P's. I don't know what's happening. So when he here. went to me, your what? face looks really bloated, like you've got your fuck kicked in, but like not in a bad way. <laughs> no, that that, yeah. that good look. Yeah. You know that real nice look where yeah. you look like you had Listen, a Listen, girls like bad boys yeah. and you look like a kind of guy That's so hot who Paris owes the right Paramount right his money all the time. Like, I look like I owe money to you right you now. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing about it is, he does. <laughs> Like, you've got him selling gear, but it's just because he's trying to fund the, the legal yeah. side of getting his kids back. <laughs> but the problem is, he's so stressed and he's not sleeping right, he takes some of the gear to, to get him <laughs> yeah. to sell the gear. So it's, I'm like, my, my gear's short. Or sorry, my gear is short, bastard. Where is my gear? <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Turkey or somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, from, my my other road. guest is David Elliott. David Elliott seventh. Um, <laughs> Why'd I do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't suit your personality no. at all. Um, <laughs> young friend of mine, uh, yeah. cool guy. Let, we are just back from London. We're just yeah, back. Just by the London boys. We're fresh the off house. the plane. Yeah, we had a good time in there. We had a, we had a, we had a good time. Have You've fun. been in London recently? I'm, literally, I was back just the day you used Oh, marine. it's a competition now, isn't oh. it? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to join in. No, uh, are we not okay. international jet set travel guys? Yeah, Absolutely, are. yeah. Do you, uh, any, you do any gear when you're away? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I was over on a BBC from the trip, so I was on my business. I mean, then why something. not? <laughs> <laughs> when you're on the company's time, have a good one. <laughs> Email info at bbc.co.uk, subject gear situation, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, I, do I keep a receipt if I'm buying it? Like you, Dave, you look like if you were a drug dealer, you give receipts. <laughs> yeah. I'm asking the dealer, it's like, can you invoice me first? Yeah. <laughs> it's tax deductible. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use sage accounting? <laughs> guys like, yes, it's gone, man. Uh, may look like a bag of sage, but absolutely not. <laughs> That's the way it's going. Dealers having chip and pin. Yeah. Um, we can talk about London, right? We've got to talk about this straight away. Mm -hmm. <coughs> talk about the live podcast and all that sort of thing. Yep, and a ahead. very, very cool thing that you guys are doing. But Dave, you don't know this. Dave, Dave, what would you say? Like, fucked it last night. So first of all, yeah. we did a gig. Right, mm. Leicester Square Theatre again. Say right. What well, Leicester Square Theatre? Thank you. Just you have to say that when you're in theatre. Why are you boy say what the fuck? Huh? Um, it goes back to a boy town phone call he made me mm. do. Right. Uh, where I had to keep saying Leicester Square Theatre. <laughs> so is that what I just thought you meant the cinema, not the actual theatre? Oh, maybe. So, yeah. I don't know, but that's just oh, that's where that voice came fun. from. Great so anyway, fun. we do the gig. Uh, it had been selling like quite slow up until the day and then I think it was a really nice day in London yeah. it was really sunny a lot of people, hot cakes. people having fun so then people just bought tickets and it ended up being pretty full so we had a lovely gig great crowd <laughs> it was a lot of fun oh, no. Mike shot it so we've got clips it's all good everything's going well got an early flight the next day say we'll go for a few mm. now backstage it was us Darren who's like the manager of the venue, like runs the venue. We agree, the nicest man, one of the nicest oh, guys we've ever we met. We just say it on record, legend. Right? And then, and Josh is there too. Now Dave thinks that Josh works with Darren, mm -hmm. but Josh works for Live Nation, who are pretty much the biggest promoters, or I think they are, or one of the biggest promoters of live entertainment yep. anywhere in the world, the mm -hmm. top. Mm -hmm. And I've just started working with them. These London shows have been my first kind of thing with them. Uh, so Josh was just down there representing Live Nation, and that's like that's it. That's a big deal. I try not to like um, think about things like that too much. Like, oh, I'm working with these guys who are doing shows. You know, you know they're probably doing shows with like 
10 nights with Drake in the O2 yeah. and then hopping across town mm-hmm. <laughs> for the man boy cheeky less less square feet got taught in the yeah. less square feet <laughs> my rider's bigger you know <laughs> but then <laughs> the so da- I introduced <laughs> I introduced Dave to Josh um, and we're chatting all night getting on great Josh a lovely guy and mm-hmm. it's all going good and we go for we go for a pint after and then Dave do you want to pick it no, up no no what had actually happened was we had a wee beer in the in the field hall and whenever you went on to do your set theater beer's cute yeah, i needed to do a pee pee so i went to the toilet and josh was in the t- no he josh was in the dressing room just on his computer just typing away and i went in he's like oh it's, i said he was like do you want another beer and i was like oh he goes listen we'll have a beer we'll have a chat I'm like, yeah sure so down <laughs> bears having we chatting away and he's sort of talking about what i'm up to and stuff you know and just what's going on and that's telling him like a few wee things austin yeah <laughs> and that's all, all good. And then he starts talking about, yeah, would you ever do the fringe? And I was like, yeah, man, I could, you know, if it made sense, I would do it and stuff. And he's like, yeah, we, um, we're looking at sending, you know, some people to the fringe and, you know, we, we do send about 15 acts a year, you know, if that would be something that might int- interest you. And I was like, nah, don't worry about it. It's grand. Like, it's, Dave thinks Josh just like wor- yeah, works, I think for Josh the works for the theatre. So <laughs> now this is someone yeah. representing yeah, the live biggest music. live promotion yeah, company anything. in the world. And yeah. he's literally like, we hand pick a small amount of acts. I enjoyed your set. Yeah. Would love to work with you. Yeah. Dave's like, nah, mate, you're all right, Butler. <laughs> like, Give it a miss, kid. Appreciate it. Listen, get the kids to look after it. Don't worry about it. You know, it's grand. He's like, you know. being offered the keys to the kingdom. Yeah. yeah. Nah, mate, uh, you're all right. You're yeah. all right, kid. I'll be at the caravan down and get the yacht there, mate. Can't you, go. you already found it this morning. Yeah, because you were like, oh, Josh, we're for Live Nation. I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Cause, like, Can I you just, not get in touch with him? Yes, but at the time, I was No, he's burnt his bridges. Yeah, I'm done. I, I, What's the phrase? Phrase? What's the phrase? <laughs> burnt your bridges. Bridges? Yeah. I thought it was britches. No. You no. thought people just burnt your bridges? You burnt your bridges. What's your bridge? Like a brace? Like, yeah, like trousers? trousers? I thought it's like, oh, he's really burnt his bridges. <laughs> Which would be embarrassing. <laughs> no, burnt your bridges. Yeah, so I am. Um, yeah, I just thought like, you know, he was just trying to be really nice. Like really nice. Works for the theatre. Be like, we work, we have the odd, you know, gig here and there. If you want to, you know, do something like that. That's like, He's fucked never it. worry, it's all good. It's He's all good. fucked his biggest and career opportunity. I'm having a, good, a nice beer with him, a great, great chat. I really Dave's nice like, nah, kid, you keep bringing me beers with me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I was like, right, I'm waiting to see you there, this. <laughs> He's like, we could have you opening for like Ricky and Dave, you know, and Dave thought they were just local guys. Yeah. He's like, nah, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ricky Challenger your face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, yeah. you know, sorry. Hanks, but no Hanks, kid. All right. <laughs> yeah, so what will be happening now is I'll send him an email straight right here, listen, some wires were crossed. Anything you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how was your London trip? It was grand. It was grand. Literally. You were, were you gigging? I was filming something for BBC Three, I think. It was something for their... So I went in, right? It's something for like their socials. And I went in. Do you not think... Is there no party that, uh, when it got arranged, thought to, thought to ask what it is? No, what it it's is for? The, no, it is for the socials. It's for like TikTok and Instagram shit. Okay. They sent me like an example of it, but I didn't know exactly what. Well, it I was sounds filming. like you've got a real grasp of what it may be. <laughs> yeah. They sent me some of that shit, and I'm like, "Listen, fuck it." I'm not gonna bore you with details. Do you have right? gear? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're like you're an easy jet flight. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> your, your nose has got its own life. It's going. Oh, <laughs> get me over there. <laughs> That's why I can't remember it all the gear. I don't know what the fuck I did. <laughs> I also when it comes he out, never, I'm like, that's what I did. He never left Gatwick Airport. He's like, oh yeah, I was running about London. <laughs> He's doing his magic gear. It makes his eyes really small. His face all loaded at all. Turns you into a mole. Describing me like I'm a dead body. Like, Fuck you. I, oh, I, I saw him and was like, me, you look good. Love the outfit. He said, he's got a bloated face. He said, he I look like, like I'm from the 40s in. as well. And he looks like a mole. Like whatever. <laughs> right left. Why do you look like I, a mole? Because they're really small eyed blind things. <laughs> Can I be honest? You do look a bit like a mole. <laughs> in general or just today? Oh, oh, just you especially look like you today. Live in farthing wood. <laughs> You're the bad boy of farthing wood. <laughs> Oi, Beatrix, you got any gear? <laughs> Beatrix Pothead. <laughs> That's why you just love the shoot. The reboot of Funny Wood. Live action. You're worse than makeup room. They go, don't worry, it's all good. <laughs> I don't know what far the wood is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get any of these references. <laughs> I'm like, at all. Oh, you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dirty little mole in the forest. <laughs> Make it sound like I'm reading Nuts magazine. <laughs> 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 Who's looking bombs? <laughs> <laughs> 
Åh, det er så sjukt at du Oh. <laughs> you make me sound like a man whose only paper I read is like the Daily Sport. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and are you going to stand here and say this? That's what. I bought me no but a sausage roll. <laughs> oh man! So you're shooting for, for BBC Three's TikTok. You're shooting farthing wood. Y- yes. Yeah. yeah, we're doing a re- um. remake of Wind in the Willows. Apparently, right? oh. so <laughs> what were you doing? Like pieces to camera? Was it? Yep. So pieces. To, but the, so we go in and the entire it's like one of those like big green screen rooms like the entire room's green screen and they're like trees f- forests bushes <laughs> you <laughs> little voles <laughs> and you <laughs> I'm sorry. What is Farthing Wood? <laughs> like, I don't know. I think it's an old kids' book. <laughs> yeah. Series of kids' books. Beatrice yeah. Potter. She wrote Peter Rabbit. No, she was Peter Rabbit. Was she, she both? Peter Rabbit. I don't know. Who did the. the <laughs> <laughs> she did both. Like yeah. The animals of Farthing Wood. What animals are kicking about Farthing Wood? Oh yeah, Foxes. no. Can we get a can we get a couple, couple of characters? Foxy, we from bastards. <laughs> I Farthing, Farthing Wood was great. Yeah, it's going to be better when there's live action. It's going to be using the same technology as they used in cats when the beaten up mole shows up. <laughs> I'm just having my fuck kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, who have we got a list of people from Farthing Wood? Based on a book, and we've got a fox, a vixen, a badger, a mole. Oh, what's a the badger's name? Do any of them have names? Barry. Yeah. Barry the badger cunt. Barry the, Barry the badger sticks his head down a wee small hole in all ears. Get out my fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> you can. The beat not mole. <laughs> right, so tell us, tell us more about what you actually wrote. Right, right, so there's like cameras everywhere. So it was really weird because I've never done any kind of green screen acting and you kind of, they just tell you what to do. So they're like, right, lie down. You're going to be at the bottom of like a pint Sorry? glass. When we film this, you'll be at the bottom of a pint glass. So you have to be like pretend you're like oh, underwater and pretend. all. Right. So I did all that. And then they were like, okay, so when we do this piece and uh, you're going to be in a toilet. And I was like, what? You said it was a pint glass. They're like, we well, haven't decided yet. So I could just be in an R. Kelly video. I don't fucking know. <laughs> there's a there's a phenomenal sketch Cardinal Burns did. I don't know if you ever saw it. Where it, the, the guy was auditioning for... I think Cardinal Burns, on, it was on E4. is one of the best sketch shows yeah. in like the last 10 years. So good. Um, and he's uh, using this where he's auditioning for the energy drink ad. No. And the casting director. Remember, he's like, there's a falcon come down. No. He's like, he's pulled your trousers down. you never seen no. this? Oh, watch this after. So good. Um, but a big green screen studio like that. I'd struggle to act like that because if I can't see the thing that's supposed to be happening yeah I d- I would get giddy and I wouldn't yeah. take it seriously if that makes sense yeah no it, it's difficult to do it took me a co- like a couple of months to get used to it like do you do any gigs when you were there or anything no no I was only there for the night I couldn't get any I tried but there was Why? no available who are you working with I mean, who's working who the fuck are we working with I said the Vittorio McCann is there any oh, what, do you, what do you like the, what does Willie T like to get up to when he travels like does he like to does he make time for good food and things like that? Or I, yeah, you I like eat on the You eat on the hoof? Is that a place? What the fuck's on the on hoof? The like, floor, on the go, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, we like to eat on the hoof. <laughs> what the fuck was that accent? My God. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, Cut that. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. Um, no, I liked it. Like, I don't like eating at, like, chains. Like, do you know what I mean? I hate when people are like, oh, we're going to a different country. Well, we go, go to Nando's three times a week. Yes, I know we do, yeah. because you <laughs> like to go there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not pretend that's anyone You would break choice. my heart if you revealed to me you didn't actually really like Nando's. No, uh, no, I do like it. I do like. No, it's lovely. He's <laughs> looked into one of Tom Carriage's Michelin star restaurants. <laughs> sitting there. I can see you just the way tucked in napkin and you know the silver bowls and he lift the lid off. You'd be like, well, we're in London, eh? The <laughs> rich, rich. Yeah, yeah. Dressed like this, but still have a wee fancy yeah. napkin. Do you it? like to go to like? A, 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 you know a, a one-off type place? Yeah, a place mm. that that's only there. Beside my hotel was the a Marco. White restaurant. Michael Pierre White, MPW? Yeah. yeah, but I couldn't go. It was closed on the day. Shit. So I went to McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> went to Wagamama. So yeah. tried out a little. I had breakfast at Wagamama this morning. What did you get for breakfast in the Wagamama? Porridge. In, sorry, why 70 in the Wagamama? <laughs> <laughs> what did you get in the Wagamama? Do the Wagamama. <laughs> <laughs> um, David, we had, a good, we had a good time. We did. We did. It was a lot of fun. We had, and, and here's the thing. We arrived. <laughs> oh, I fucked the flying back. I thought we were, going, we were going from Stansted, but it was yeah. Gatwick. And we spent probably an hour of research the night before, plotting our route, figuring out where to go and that kind of thing. Yeah. And then it was just a different airport. So I missed that yeah. story because he started groping me. No, it's Patman. Plus my mate. Fucking touch me. 
You were patting him because he's your wee mate. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's the quote. Yeah. 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 Try that in court. See how that says the nonce. No, but the, the nonce would would have been stroking his inner thigh and cock. But I was just patting his wee knees. Right. Ah, stop! No, I've what really, have you done? Do you I, like? Do you, you like a pat from him? I've tendonitis on my knee, and you keep slapping it. I had that when I was like fifteen. It's one of the sorest things. I have it on both my knees. Yeah. Is there any way we can fix it? It's not really. No. I know what to do for it. What? What do you do? Oh, here we it's go. Sore though. <laughs> You have to take your trousers and pants off. <laughs> you have to burn your britches. Um, <laughs> you push your kneecap, you push a bit of pressure down on the kneecap, index finger, rub it on the on the kneecap back and forth for like 15, 20 minutes. Oh, really? To like rub tendonitis out. So, because I get it so much because of the way I walk. That's what the physio told me and they said I had tendonitis in my bum too. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Do you like a pat from him? No, I don't like. I'm like a cat. Unless I've said you can touch me, I don't like being. Are touched. you not a? Are you not a affectionate person? Do you know? No, not at all. Serious? I hate affection. I actively like <laughs> when someone gives me it. I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. What would what would constitute a hug <clears throat> for you? What's a moment? Like, where, like like rappers when they bring out like a guest rapper on stage and they do that like handshake shoulder bump. Right. Yeah. But a hu- I think I gave I'll you- do that to my bride on my wedding day instead of kissing her. I was like, yeah, married. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gave you a hug when you won the new comedy awards. Hit. Yeah, that's no, that's okay. That's but a, that's fine. That's, that's acceptable. An okay hug. Yeah, yeah, it's an acceptable really? hug. Really? Yeah, I don't like being touched. Genuinely. But have you been properly hugged? Yes. I mean, like I've been hugged before. I'm not. Yeah, but hug, like, have you ever have you had a proper hug from this guy? You have never given me. A let's hug. let's start doing. Give hugs. him a, move the mics. Give him a hug. I'm really, no, I'm William. Really, listen, he doesn't want to. And I, I'm on camera here, and this could come back to haunt me in the <laughs> no, future. No, he's like 30. No, because there's a... Yeah, but the guy just said... The guy just said, no, I don't want to. You're and then I go, be, fuck it, come you're on. Not be, fuck it, hug me, you can't. You're not going to be cancelled for hugging a middle-aged man. <laughs> no, but I... Let me... T- oh, my let, kids are fine. Why are you, why are you McAlbury? Oh, there was, I was on a podcast, and I hugged a man. This is something you need to learn about, mister. <laughs> consent yeah. he blatantly <laughs> said he doesn't want it and I went I respect your boundaries I'm not going to do it to him Fair. you yeah. would have gone and, get and done it anyway and Fair. he would have been uncomfortable it would have been on camera okay. someone would have been on Twitter like <laughs> and, <laughs> another, another mole from it's all the moles <laughs> <laughs> you'll, yeah. you'll get done by the mole community I can't find it funny I find the fact that yeah. you've just dropped the farthing wood reference <laughs> in the podcast <laughs> but yeah no I'm not hugging you but when the time's I'm right the we'll share a hug be open to him giving you a hug yeah, at listen, some point that's all I'm saying okay. see if we get a series I'll hug you and you'll love it Sweet. and we'll kiss as well don't hold out your backhand like you're about to fucking pimp slap me let's <laughs> we get a series yeah. let's talk about you. speaking of series let's talk about that mm-hmm. you two have done something very good earth shattering very nice no, no, no sorry, I wouldn't say earth shattering um, oh, a, a number of months ago <laughs> You started working on a script, mm-hmm. and I don't want to say I'm responsible for this. Mm. Yeah. Then don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I will. I okay. will. And in in what in what way? Because did give, I did. You give me cerebral palsy. I came to you. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> I came to you. That's why you won't hug people. You're scared of getting it again. Uh-huh. I came to you. One uh-huh. night at, at your own comedy club, yeah. and you're there like Marlon Brando and The Godfather. Uh-huh. And I approached you and I said, "Listen, Channel Four are putting out a wee call here for scripts. Mm-hmm. You should write something for this. Put something in for this." Mm-hmm. And you already had an idea. You already had an idea. Yeah. And I just, I just, I just faced you towards a northern star, and I said, "Start mm-hmm. walking." Now yeah. I also had something in for it, and then you yeah. ended up getting it. Which, if I had it yeah. with the gift of hindsight, yeah. would never have drawn but your then, attention to it. But then, <laughs> but as well as well as you telling me another person from the production company like, do you have anything we could submit to this because the only stuff we've received first. so far is <laughs> I told you first so I'm responsible yeah okay it's, okay. it's my thing um, <laughs> and then you I <laughs> remember we did an outdoor gig of Pugs in the mm-hmm. Boneyard yes and he was emceeing but in between yeah. emceeing just sat with the, the, the most like <laughs> arrogant scriptwriter of all time he just sat with a laptop writing a script during the gig in like full view of the audience yeah. it probably looked like he was doing like gig admin people were like fuck Dave's really hands yeah. on and he's just there with his quill just like <laughs> writing a script because that's yeah. what you like the to write beside yeah. you we should say this <laughs> more ink sire the more time they're like this don't be fucking funny mate <laughs> Any tits in this script, boss? Yeah. <laughs> Make my character have a fucking massive knob, mate. 
Oh, I wow. can't do uh, a geezer accent. I know, it's, you sound like a guy, I don't know, who maybe would like sell rugs in Aladdin's times. Yeah. <laughs> you make me have massive cock. Oh, I thought Aladdin's times are like on the Newton Road. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Want down the Aladdin's times, get yourself a rug. You dick. Um, but yeah, you wrote, you basically wrote the script during no, a game. It was the pitch. It was during, it was like the, the this is what this world is yeah, boom during that's the gig because right. we heard about it on a Thursday and they're like can you have something by Friday and I went yeah just Craig David seven days yeah it's like yeah, <laughs> told me on Thursday doing a Friday boom so um, so you wrote done. a thing and it was uh, originally called William of Orangefield yes changed that it was a script about you about William kind of growing up in Farthingwood <laughs> underground now <laughs> Uh, no, because people are going to watch this expect a Wind of the Willows remake yeah. if we keep yeah, on with this. Uh, but it's about, it's about you growing up on an estate having yeah. cerebral palsy and uh -huh. you wrote the thing and you were showing me it as the yeah. game was going on and I was like laughing out loud at lines yeah. you'd written and things like that. Uh, put in for a Channel 4 scheme called Blaps, yeah. which is like short. Kieran had one two years ago called Thick Ass, which anytime I said to people, they go, Thick Ass? Yeah, thick ass, <laughs> thick ass. I was in thick ass with Karen Bartlett. <laughs> <laughs> and then we made a blab. Uh, <laughs> me, Karen Bartlett, on the mall. <laughs> it, it doesn't really suit our accent, thick ass, does it? No. no. <laughs> oh, I was a shopkeeper in thick ass. So what's the shop that you keep? Hey, don't worry about it. I'll sell bottom. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you just wrote that and then got a big production company involved yeah. Hattrick who make Dairy yes. Girls and loads of other great stuff that, Hattrick made Father Ted Father did, Ted yeah. um, IT crowd I think yeah have I got news for you is that one too oh have you got a series <laughs> no I wish <laughs> and and if, between us. Yeah, if, if we do find out I'm going to say don't tell William and then I'll announce it and I'll be having news for you and I'll be like I've not got a series <laughs> so <laughs> you wrote don't this don't be obvious it's fucking terrifying and then what, so what's the process of like when you wrote it it goes into this like Channel Four yeah. scheme, and then we get a lot of back and forward from like production company, Channel Four sort of suggestions. And again, once obviously we like us in the production company are like a team. So did That's you it. you wrote a pitch, and then they liked the pitch, yes. and then you both started working on the script. Yes, yeah, get you. Yeah. And then that's how that came to pass. And then yeah, a lot of back and forward. Um, and then we got to the point where the script was finalized. And I, just before we go past it. We will get it on social media. I've seen a lot of people writing it already. You missed a trick. Why is it not called William of Orange Field? The reason behind it is that was what its working title was. It was called that. But then we realised we're like we're not shooting this in Orange Field because Orange Field's quite like it's, it's, it's too nice and and like yeah yeah it doesn't suit the world. So we're like we need to and you know people from here are like if you call it Orange Field and it's filmed in Beaver, you know, they'll yeah. go. By the way, such Orange a field. kick in yeah. the teeth for the residents of Beaver. You're like, yeah. Orange Field was too nice, so we took it to Beaver. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, listen, estates here can be lovely and they can also be Well, Orange Field is just residential, really, isn't yeah. it? Like, it's just yeah. houses and yeah. streets, whereas Beaver actually but has, I mean, it, like, It was just an estate it. that worked well into the name. You know, it's like, there's a pun on William of Orange. Orange Field, you know. Yeah, so and it, because it is, the great thing about it being Channel 4 is it's all around UK, obviously. Yeah. So even, calling it William of Orange Field, doesn't matter to anyone yeah. in Scotland or Wales. They're no, not going to get yeah. that. No. It's a very local, yeah, local reference. But, but I, I find I don't know about. And I was chatting to someone at a wee meeting before the gig yesterday. I was chatting about this very thing of like when I write a script as a stand, and I'm very new to it too, writing like scripts. But when I do it as a stand up, I find it really hard because we're only used to writing for ourselves. Yeah, and mm -hmm. we're trying to write the funniest thing in the quickest time. Yeah, so having to write other characters and not make every bit. Mm -hmm. A joke, kind of, yeah, is tough. Yeah, well, and I mean, all the stuff that's non-funny, that's that's what I take care of. Yeah, you know, the stuff that's just like, yeah, but you don't have a yeah. lot of jokes in your no, set or like funny I, I, like people say to me, you are like people come to watch me do stand up the same way as it, back in the eighties. They went to wrestling to watch Andre the Giant. It wasn't for his skills; it was for just the size, spectacle the of this of guy. And yeah. like, look at this guy. It's the same with me. So yeah, we we and I, like the to me, what I always find f f some of the funniest things in life is when you just see like people watching people doing weird things like for me always growing up one of my favorite times of the week was on a friday night my whole family would go to my granny's to have dinner 
and my granny without without ever meeting every Friday. Funny. Yeah, Fuck without that. Yeah, but without being, you know, but she's dead now. So <laughs> why well, have you turned into worry. a twelve-year-old boy? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm not going to my granny's. Fuck, not off. every Friday. <laughs> but those times were the funniest times. Just, I know, you know I the know, interactions yeah. amongst your family. Yeah, without well, people just when family are together. Oh, it's like, hilarious, and like that's together. what we sort of the the crux of this. Yes, it's about William who has cerebral palsy, but it's also about the. You're joking of, me. Yeah. You know, but I think he puts it on, but that's not here nor there. Yeah. But it's oh just the <laughs> when no present it. <laughs> <laughs> but then, he will give you a but he'll show you his dick. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the you're not allowed to like it. I don't like affection. <laughs> but I think I think it's like it can be universally funny for everyone in family since like kids growing up together. You know, it, it's just a, f- a fun play, and I think from here. A lot of times, you know, if you're doing things based on estates or it's, it's their stereotypes, it's maybe poking fun at people. Whereas I think, you know, there's a, a world of humour to be had there. And I think it's a really nice, wholesome piece. Did you do have any arguments right now? Me and you didn't really know. No, no. I um, mean, the only frustration we maybe had was when we had done something and then we got notes back to be like, don't do that. And then other notes would come back being like, oh, do that. And we're like, we did it. But yeah, it, you also have to get an eye only in like I'd say the last couple of months have have learned this and got over it is when you get notes back from a production company or a producer or a director or whoever like you almost because no one challenges you on what you've written for your stuff you write your stand up yeah. yeah and then you do your stand up yeah and they can laugh or not laugh but it's the material is the material mm-hmm. whereas when you're writing something that everyone has this stake in a production company, a producer's got to put his name to it, all that. They will give you no. You got to rewrite it, rewrite it, and rewrite it. And at first, I was like, "Well, why are you tell me this is some fun? Like this is it is. Yeah. You're saying it's funny, so why do you need to rewrite it?" Yeah. And then you learn it. You're like, "Well, they just wanted to have the best chance. They yeah. know more about TV than I do. Yeah, and getting something on TV yeah. and what works. So once you realize that actually we are all pulling in the same direction, yeah, it, you, you become way more open to the mean, notes and stuff." Ultimately, the goal now is for this blap to become something. What is a blap? By the way, what's a blap? A blap is a short pilot. So rather than being a, a thirty-minute pilot, it's twelve to fifteen. Channel minutes. Four, just channel four. Channel four. Just yeah. channel four. It's it, yeah. The, and the the aim, I think, all, everyone wants to make what the blaps are. Like I think every channel four production companies all want to see it become something else. So you know we are effectively a team with it. And again, if if people, the ones who are making the decision, are telling us we want so and so in this or we want this to be like this we'll go well you are the ones that want to make it so let's you know try yeah. to do it as best we can a blab's kind of like you're wetting the whistle Yeah, you're saying like look you could have it's like a wee we're all peeping toms yeah. looking through a cock yeah. looking through a wee bum no looking through the spyglass and we're seeing a little bit of the show Yeah, and then obviously they're going to pick one two none four of the shows yeah. Yeah. and develop them further so you like you want to get a series yeah. that's it they can feasibly pick all of them yeah. or none of them is it weird playing you was it weird playing you you See, playing you yeah because I, I have never acted before as you but as you in anything right do, do you know what I mean so being I think it was harder to act as yourself than it is to be someone completely do, different do I think you, do you know yourself yeah very well but I think you, you, the character William is more Naive than you would be. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think. Well, he's... no. At the age. Uh-huh. No, he's got. He's gullible. Yeah. Okay. At... <laughs> Fuck you. You could send. <laughs> you could send this man here for tartan paint at that hardware shop up yeah. the road. I would. Yeah. I'd, um, yeah. <laughs> Can you not get this tartan paint? Another thing. I think so. No, no. But it's, it's going to be an. Ex- it's obviously an exaggerated yeah, 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 version yeah. of you that yeah. you're playing. But mm-hmm. when I was that age, I would have been gullible as shit. I was an idiot when I was that age. Yeah. I'm an idiot now. Yeah. Well, it was more Snap, age, bro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm you. I've got a low IQ. I, you know, I really, I thought you did a, a great job on it, and I think it's 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 a really nice piece. Like, I'm really hypothetically, can I say if I've seen it? Yes. Oh, no, yeah. you can't. Okay. But you 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 can imagine you've seen the script. If I if I had to visualize it, yeah, you're you're really good. At, oh, thank mm-hmm. you. You're really hypothetically, good at. thank you. And, but mm-hmm. and that might be an advantage because all these pro- like I'd say a lot based on the one Ke- and I was in Kieran's one so I saw all the rest of the blaps that year they all came from London they were all yeah. like not them all but it was a lot of middle class English humour mm-hmm. and it's yeah. very rare they pick up on something from like a small region like here yeah. Yeah. so that will that's why people need to get behind this mm-hmm. your project yeah. William well Bonstein. I mean that's the thing with, with our point of view is we 
We effectively are flying a flag for the whole country, north and south. You know, over what the flag is it? We're fl- flying the tricolor and the St George's. Is it across? I don't know. Why are you throwing up the DX sign? Because <laughs> I, I, I'm representing. Are you saying we want the country to suck it? To suck it. <laughs> You're telling the UK to suck yes, it. Yes, and, and I'm saying, listen. <laughs> Ireland, North and South, Northern Ireland, the Republic of Ireland, come together and say suck it to the rest of the UK and support us. Yeah. So, like, again, for us. You want them to suck it in support of you? Yes. I mean, absolutely. And listen, comment on the video if you like it or not. You know, get the algorithm going. Whatever. Channel you need four. Dave, can this. we get a little press quote just yeah. for for what you want the viewers to experience? Yeah, suck it, full stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, after how I got on last night <laughs> with my career sabotage, I wouldn't put it past me. Like, oh, do you want to go to a friend? You're like, suck it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the channel four. You you do this 15 minute blap in channel four. Yeah. Like, do you want some guys like? All right, mate, do you want, like, a full six-series deal? We'll give you a Netflix deal and a movie. And Dave just thinks he's, like, the cleaner on Channel 4. He's like, yeah. no, put it's ahead of Channel 4. Dave's like, fuck it, mate, you're all right. Yeah, you I'm fucking go to cinema to watch The Northman tonight. <laughs> so busy. Busy. Yeah. You just give it to someone else. I was like, so, so yeah, what, the, what we do hope is that... I mean, and I do think it is slightly different to a lot of comedy that comes from here in that it's based here. But I feel like the themes and humour are universal you know so i think hopefully people will enjoy that and hopefully you know people will like it and get involved and, and support it and again suck it to everyone everyone yeah. else are you nervous about it going out i am no what are you nervous about because there's a lot of on a personal level me in it not just like but like you know it's based around my life and it's also something like i helped write yeah so there's a lot of me in it and i'm like fuck i hope it's mm. all right. i hope it's good yeah do you know what i mean but you know what um, I would be very straight with you, and I know I'm not. I'm not <laughs> on a lot you? of occasions, but <laughs> if you were shy, I'd go. You fucked this for me, and you're shit. Yeah, he wasn't but afraid no. to tell you. Yeah, yeah I'd be like, what face? No. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. If there's one guy who tells it like it is, hey, yeah. he spent the past hour calling me a little mole, <laughs> a bloated, so. a bloated mole with piss holes for eyes. This guy's on top of the world. Here, guys, listen. I want, I want people. I know there's a lot of like Photoshop guys listening to this podcast. I want this guy turned into a wee bloated mole yeah. in Farthingwood doing gear. <laughs> turned <laughs> into. <laughs> just, it'll just be a photo of him just like this. Is why I've went back to PT because yeah. I've had so many people insulting how I look. Like when we went to Nando, someone stopped me in the street and went, "You look like shit," <laughs> and that's when I'm like, "Yeah, okay, it's time, to, it's time yeah. to the gym." But no, I think I think like if you, <laughs> he's if got his own show coming out. He's written it. He's in it. Top <laughs> of the world, <laughs> Dave. All right, man. Gearhead, mo. Piss hole eyes. But no, I would tell you if, if I thought you were shit in it and, and I thought yeah. you were really good. And I, I, you know what? I'm happy with how it is. I, I annoyed you by how seriously I took it. But you had to. You know what I mean? It's like not fucking about it anymore. It's the big leagues, brother. Yeah. Look, you know? Were you method? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Were you method acting? I always thought you said meth head. <laughs> <laughs> no, did you, to play the role of, of you, did you did you go method? Yeah. I was in like, like well, I am me. So, <laughs> but I was. I'm like, if the character was gonna be annoyed in the scene, I would. Be so, like, annoyed. even outside the scenes, were you in your head? You were being you. Yeah, yeah. I was. I was me the whole time. That's <laughs> even off the camera. Still had cerebral. Palsy. In between takes, when you went home, you were still still. You me. took your work home with you. You were still being William yeah. Thompson. Still had cerebral palsy the whole time. It's a craft. It's like the two big idiots chatting. I've ever heard. Are you you? Yes, I'm me, mate. And then when I'm on to me, and when I'm finished to me too. Are you not getting still, that we're being what? sarcastic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm you just don't understand how dense <laughs> you two are. So I other, don't get it. Other I'm people like... can be like, are they? Are they? Yeah. No, they're not. Oh, they are. Okay. Um, we get you. When does it come out? Sixth of May. May sixth. When yeah. does this episode come out then? Fourth, the fourth of May. Of May. So in two days. In two out. days. Yeah. You might be watching this the day it's out or the day after, and people here. Or uh, like either really get behind something, mm-hmm. yeah, or really don't. They'll fucking. But I it. think most people are going to get behind it. You'll get the all comment. You get yeah. the all whatever. Yeah. But like you expect that, you know. Yeah, but you know what? If people hate, suck it. And know? everyone, everyone's going to get behind. Like uh-huh. think of all the comedians locally, and everyone has a good following, and everyone will support it. And anyone who doesn't, mm. who was it? You said I looked like on set when I was in my tracksuit. Oh, you look like Polly Walnuts from <laughs> The Brand. Yeah. You look, did look like a young mafia guy. Which is what worried me because I thought if he looks like this in real life, like a 40 year old mafia guy, yeah. how is he going to pass off as like a teenager? But they, to be fair, the CGI. Yeah, he, the go, he yes, goes. They used the same tech as they used in the Irishman. Because when, when you were talking, talked about for the role of, of you, which like you had to like audition to play you, yeah. um, Dave was like, yeah, he's going to have to audition. And I said, if he clean shaves, 
he's going to look 15. Yeah. And then he sent me a photo of you on set. And I was like, how does he now look twice as old? <laughs> <laughs> How's the guy clean shaven and he looks yeah. like an enforcer? But that's like everyone who did the makeup was like, you look young, you look young. Wow, yeah. I can't believe it's still you. And he's like, you look 45. No, and he's like, how, do, how good do you look? I'm like, oh, you, you don't look sweet <laughs> and you don't look I young. Look like, <laughs> you said I look like Ricky Gervais in Extras when he plays no, the genie. I said, I said you look like Ricky Gervais in Derek. That's what I said. No, you, you didn't. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you looked like him when he was the genie and extras. <laughs> I was like, oh. There were times he was the most annoying fucker on set because I'm yeah. being really serious. Really, well, he's into got it. no pressure, and on he's set. just it's, it's dicking about. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I spent most of the first day. Like, I like I was annoyingly like I was watching everything and like <laughs> giving messages. Tell him to do this different, t- and it was like it must have been annoying. Just sitting there watching a the monitor where they're all freezing and all. Yeah. He, he spent the whole day in the first day sitting in the living room, like roasting on a sofa, and then had yeah. the audacity to come up to me after and be like. I'm tired. I was like, you've done yeah. fuck off. And listen, I had to use a lot of mental strength to like, you know, guide and comment and advise. I was an advisor on the day. Yeah. But you know what? I want to just say the whole process was honestly some of the most fun I have had in, in anything. You know, from start to finish, everyone we worked with, Hattrick were amazing. Uh, Louise and Anna were brilliant. And the whole the team, the crew, everyone... Crazy he's given us BAFTA you know, awards. You know, um, you doing and it was just such it was just so much fun. And all I'm saying is I hope people have as much fun watching it as we did creating it. Oh, that's you know, lovely. So. And if they don't, I would do words for them. Suck it. I, I, I got um I might have said this in a podcast before. I got a detention for being <laughs> silly in school. And then the teacher that gave me it showed out Mr. Ashfield, Sly. Um Where when, did he teach? What? what did he teach? Didn't even teach him. Just... Um, he was... So he gave me the detention. I'm in detention. Not him taking it. I'm waiting to be picked up late from school. A guy in my class drives out. There's mum and dad driving him out of school. As he passes me, he like... As a joke, I'm standing waiting for a lift. He's like, ooh, gives me the fingers. You know, it's a Friday or whatever. Yeah. I see it. I respect it. I hit him back with the... Suck it. Because <laughs> I'm cool, right? 14 or something, heading back with the socket. Mr. Ashfield drives past at the time, doesn't see him give me the fingers, just sees me <laughs> straight out of attention, go up to a car, and be like, yeah. straight away, winds out the window, he's like, boom, next week, another detention. Yeah. I hate that. So uh, now I'm flashbacks with socket. Don't I give a shout out now, Mr. Ashfield? Mr. Ashfield, <laughs> suck it! <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely like see him in Tesco's or something. Be like, that was weird that yeah. you would do that. And then you still call detention again. You still call old teacher sir. Yeah. Sorry about that, sir. I was like, hiding the big man in my podcast. For <laughs> that never leaves you. Like you run into a teacher and you are properly just back. Oh, and yeah. again. It's you weird when you. It's weird when you run into a teacher years later. Call them sir, and they don't be like, "I'll oh, just call me Mark." Yeah. yeah. You're like. Don't, but it's weird. don't be okay with me calling you sir. It's weird when they hit you with the opposite, call me Mike, and you're like, yeah. what? <laughs> no, like it's a new power that I don't know if I can handle. Yeah. And you feel so cheeky. Were hey, you in detention much? Oh yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah. Just for being a cheeky wee bastard. You? Yeah, yeah. No, mate, I was a prefect. Come on. I almost got detention one time. when um, my like So I had a, an aftershave bottle in a bag. It's your own range? No, no, just, I was going to a friend's house after school, so how do we buy, buy hold, on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> You're going to your mate's house? Yeah. Who's your mate? Like, I can't remember. Who Grant? The guy in your class? It wasn't Grant, no. <laughs> and the only thing shit. you packed? Fuck you for that. The only uh, thing you packed? No, it, it was cologne? in, the, there was other, there was a change of He's clothes. 12. Nothing after shit. He's 12. He's <laughs> 12. Got the Versace, yeah. wraps his door, Versace blue jeans. <laughs> and his mate, what is your mate? 42. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did somebody order a little mole? Get in here, you bugger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friend was Katie Price. That's what I was rocking Get up in here, you big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let me smack your ass. <laughs> you smell lovely. <laughs> Harvey, get the door. It's a little mole. <laughs> <laughs> the Princess, mole. go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> the mole shows up with the Versace blue jeans on. Sorry, how did you get attention for going to a 40 year old guy? Before house? you finish, please, listeners, from now on, anything, call, just write mole call in the Do mole. not call me a mole. <laughs> Let us catch up. Do on. not. What's so funny? I'm is so mentally fragile. We call him Willie or William, and he's like, I prefer that people call me Will, and we've yeah. been like, no worries, brother, it's the mole. <laughs> We could combine them both and call him yeah. the Willie Mole. That'd be a grin. 
will fucking never appear in your show again. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Willie Moore. <Mull. laughs> fucking done. <laughs> I'll refuse be, to do a series. He's going to be a huge Willie TV Mull. star. Yeah. He's going to be burdened by just being known as the Moor. <laughs> Stage name. Play <laughs> by the Moor. <laughs> Like the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Willie the Mole Thompson. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. So sorry, you went to your mate's house. Oh, fuck, you're like No, 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 like sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Right. <laughs> it's like, it's not you've not wee, t- wee Tesco bag with your spray in it. Well, no, it was like a wee Puma Luke. bag. It was a wee rucksack. Oh, okay, so right, I'm right, not right. showing up with a wee plastic shopping bag. Like, yeah. <laughs> Roy Cropper. <laughs> Ball You're staying in your house in this exact coat. A wise bag, plastic bag. <laughs> this is a wee Roy Cropper coat, isn't it? <laughs> it's a Haley Cropper coat, brother. All right, Pete. Yeah, big shout out. Young Norris. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. It's a comment we never thought we needed. <laughs> young Sheldon. <laughs> no, it's young Norris. young Norris. The mole is young Norris. <laughs> this summer. The mole is young Norris. See if we get a message from Channel 4. It's like, wait a Morgedale. It's now called Young Mole. <laughs> <laughs> and they just use CGI to put dark glasses on you. It's exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are they not just giving them dark glasses to wear? Why are they CGI in the mole? <laughs> Dave doesn't get our money works. Clip arc. No, they've, <laughs> they've already shot it. Oh, so yeah. it's just exactly into what's already shot. Right. Sorry, you go to oh. your mate's house. Hmm. Right, no, right, so I was coming in the school with the rucksack in the back, right, and then one of my other mates took the bag off me and, like, just fucking wung it. And then the, the bottle was in, I heard it smack, and I was just went, you stupid fat fucking cunt! And my head teacher was right behind me right. as he said that. So he just he was like, come into my office, and he was like, that's an unacceptable way to speak. And I went, in my defense, sir, the aftershave was 80 quid. <laughs> And he just went, fair enough. And they yeah. gave me it back. So I got away with it. Right, right, Only because right. of how expensive the aftershave was. There was teachers like that who, like, were kind of, like, would be seen to be, like, here, blah, blah, blah. And then when you go chatting to them, they're like, don't worry, just don't right. be a dick. Yeah. You know, that kind of yeah. In my school, I quickly found out there were certain teachers you could get away with anything if they found it funny. Yeah, If you yeah, made yeah. them laugh, they could be like, no, boys, don't do that. But you see in their face, they're like, very good. Yeah. yeah you never nice. really did anything. No. Fucking no. nerd. Nerd? Yeah, but listen, I had a lot of fun in school. Fuck, it's getting his qualifications. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd I you mean, go? I have, I have them too. Solving upper. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> off the cap. Yeah. yeah. It was a good time, but no, I had, a lot of, I had a lot of fun teachers. I actually had a teacher too, who was my tag team partner. Whenever you're a prefect, Sorry? You're, mm. whenever you're a prefect, right, you get paired up with a teacher, so the rules to, are... To, to, to start wrestling? Yeah, so what happens, you just get paired up, so whenever you're a prefect, you have to do, like, you know, a play, playground... Like you have to watch the playground for like a, an afternoon a week or whatever. Like John and then, yeah, but I was with this guy. Ugh, it's all quiet out here, sir. This teacher, right? <laughs> and this teacher was very cool. Like he was like, "Don't call me by my Mister. Call me. He just called me by my first name. He said, "Call me your first name." Oh, that's it's so right. cool. Yeah, and then he goes to me, "Listen, Dave. Oh, it's so cool to be you, groomed by a guy. You don't. You don't have oh, to. Yeah, guys, it's Graham. But then he was like, "Call me Shagger." But then he goes, "You don't have to do the playground stuff. You can just go and have your break. I'll do the playground stuff." I was like, no sweat, man. Appreciate it. You know, listen, if you ever need like any help or anything, you know, we put backhander from the tuck shop, holler at your boy. You want to give him a backhander behind the tuck yeah, shop? Yeah, so that's all fair enough. And I said, that's grand. Like, there's another thing I would do, speak in the tuck shop, where if I you had to work in the tuck shop, so like my mates would come up to me and give me fake money. I, I just, and I would hand them like. Mike used to work you know, Stuart Miller's in Hollywood, mm-hmm. real talk, and I used to go in the Saturday before football and buy like Lucas and loads of stuff and give him like a pound, he gave me about four fifty back. Yeah. True story, and he worked there so he can't be prosecuted for Nice, that. but that's what I used to do there. I remember one guy was like <laughs> came up afterwards and like, Oh, can I have a packet of menstruals and a tin of coke? And then he sort of went handed me no money. I was like, It's two fifty, you fucking idiot. And he's yeah. like, <laughs> they had to be close. And I was like, Listen, you're not part of the family. Yeah. So anyway, he's like, Don't worry. So I was able to just still enjoy my breaks, obviously. And that was fine. And that then, sounds suspect. Yeah, well, a few yeah. years later, Don't fast worry, forward. Man, I've got the play believe here. it or not, this guy may or may not have been prosecuted for making chat porn. Not like filming it, editing it, so kind of like Fosty. Just, <laughs> <laughs> no, just to clarify, yeah. he edits comedy, not no, that. Yeah, well, edits video, so this guy was like, yeah. yeah, and I was really let down. 
Yeah, well, I'm glad I didn't have Why to do. Why did he do a sloppy job? Of the I'm, I'm, so you just referred to him as your tag team partner? Well, he was. You were let down while his tr- transitions yeah, were but then I, I did, like, if we're talking tag team wrestling, you know, I ended the up... Aspect was, ratio was well. The sound was terrible. The subtitles were coming up to whenever, me. Whenever I found out he was a paedophile, I had to throw him through the barbershop window, so to speak. You know, I'd say, we're done. We're not mates that's anymore. Such that's not a phrase. Reference. You threw him yeah. through the barbershop yeah. window. Yeah. It is a phrase in wrestling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shawn Michaels, when he fell Oh, I don't know that. No, it's really fucking niche. Yeah. Because you're cool. Oh yeah, nice fleece. <laughs> it's a jumper. Yeah, it's a jumper. Where's your fleece? Where hidden under there? Where yeah. wee banana and some fancy cakes and tea. Gimp. You're not cool. You're a lot of things. Cool is not hey. one thing you are. Hey. Hmm? Cool guys don't go. Okay. Hey, is there weed in this? Yeah. Have any of you guys other than me being a prefect? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That's just how cool kids do it. You, you know. mishear me, I'm saying, is there weed in it? And if the answer's no, I ain't eating it, because I'm a cool stoner boy. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Uh, because stoned I, out, brother. Oh. I'm pretty sure I've never had weed in my ass before. <laughs> what? What? You said there's not weed in it, I'm not eating it, but... <laughs> <laughs> you too love your wrestle. Oh, you should do a wrestling podcast? Listen, maybe, yeah, if it, if, if it makes sense. Because it's know. one of those, it's a niche, it is a niche thing, but... They ha- it has mm-hmm. such a dedicated Do you say it's niche? Fan base? They're that like wrestling logo, WWE. Yeah. It's still, still WWE. Yeah, WWE. That logo is one of the most recognized logos in the world. Yeah. Everyone knows wrestling everywhere in the world. Yeah. So it it is niche <laughs> when you're but your age, but it's not like <laughs> WWE isn't niche. But you just need to figure out how to what, what, be, will, the what, show what be? will it be. You know what I mean? yeah. People would love it. But what do we do? Do we talk about each week, or do we keep it live? Here, here's know. what I'm. Th- here's what I'm thinking. Uh-huh. You know, you call me the dream weaver. Here's what I'm. Here's what I'm weaving up my tapestry. You're like no. big fucking gimp. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the same physique, build, stride as the BFG. <laughs> like you can see him just <laughs> bounding in and blowing guys through their windows at night. <laughs> Sorry, what version of the BFG have you seen? Yeah. <laughs> do your teacher make up one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you have seen the BFG as he comes bounding through the top. Not the one where he's blowing the he guys, no. Pull, he goes down, he pulls down people's windows, and then he gets his big pipe out and he goes <laughs> and blows a dream in, and it goes, and then he just Jack and the giant pain stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, you be careful saying of the physique of the BFG because yeah. someone I'll not say who it is, a local comedian, body shamed me uh-huh. on Instagram. Sorry, I've been called the mole for thirty minutes. <laughs> Moles are, are excellent scurriers. Is that a thing? The be, fuck does that supposed to be? They scurry really well. And they're impressive scurriers. Yeah, I was fat, I was fat shamed. Who by? Don't want to say. Give us a clue. Because yeah. I will find them and I'll... Give I'll you a clue? Them. Yeah. Kieran Bartlett. <laughs> Kieran Bartlett described me in a public Instagram comment as very thin. And you know what happens when you do that? When you question my physique? Uh-huh. You get sent a picture of my physique. And then you apologise. But did he say your penis was thin? Because it's weird you just sent him a picture of that. <laughs> yeah. It was weird. On a canvas that was delivered by the Amazon An oil man. painting. <laughs> <laughs> the Amazon man just comes up from his canoe. Yeah. <laughs> I've got this for you. It's from Todd. <laughs> um, He's also Kitty Price. Yeah. <laughs> I think a wrestling podcast you do is this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You talk a bit about Physics. the topical stuff. Yeah. What's happening. You do that for like 20 minutes. Then maybe you do like a something like we feature like where are they now? You could uh-huh. also interview wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. guys are just floating about doing nothing. There's, there's they're no just t- being sore. Mm. Yeah. Ah. yeah. I'm, I'm 57 <laughs> and I'm getting thrown about. Uh, but you could like talk about like classic matches or something, or you know something like that. Yeah, there's yeah. there's stuff. <laughs> the Dreamweaver does it again. Because yeah. <laughs> I I. W- <laughs> I would just love to talk about like certain storylines. Like me and him talked about this before. Yeah. There was a time on Raw, and this actually happened, and it happened for a couple of weeks. That when a match would get too boring, the manager Eric Bischoff would come out and just have two lesbians get stuck into each other. Yeah, <laughs> and it was the same. No, I, I, I've always said re- I, I, I wrestling is good, and I might start watching it again. But what? Uh, when, when, when would that have been? <laughs> about oh three. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna yeah. give wrestling another yeah. crack. Sounds good. <laughs> I was um, like eight at the time. My parents were like, oh, why do you watch wrestling? And then it comes on. It's like, it's time for some hot lesbian action. That would be such a good threat to keep you on your toes doing local stand-up. Yeah. You know, like, 
Colin comes up to you at Lavery, she's like, mate, if you're struggling eight minutes in, <laughs> two, send two, the lesbians out. Uh, stuck in the <laughs> you just imagine I know, I know, you, 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 you should both do badly on, but oh no, <laughs> I'm struggling here, <laughs> this isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> send in the lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Good time you near ripped your vocal cords because you did a Vince McMahon impression. I said for some cords. I can say ripped the back of. His head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember telling you to rip your cock home. You ripped his willy cord. Um, yeah, tried to do a Vince McMahon. It was hard. What would you call? What would you call a wrestling podcast? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Want to wrestle? The mole and the, the bear. Yeah. Teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the I, mole and the bear. I heavily dislike this name. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, there's wrestling holds. You call it the wrestling mole. <laughs> What, you what, you what? should do Wrestling it with a, a local wrestler, three of you. Yeah, that'd be fun. There's a guy who was signed there on XT UK, Tucker. Yep. Yeah, following him in. Speaks very And highly. him and his partner, I think she she is part is part of NXT. Or wrestles so. too. I think so too. He yeah. speaks very highly of me, and he said I could have been a wrestler if I'd stuck it out, but didn't. That's the word. That's like such <laughs> Jay from the In Betweeners chat. Yeah. I he says he yeah. says I could have been Triple H. What would your gimmick be? Because in, in for those who don't know in wrestling, you get a character. It's called a gimmick. I'd be called the prefect, and I would have a tag team partner. And <laughs> the pedo teacher. Yeah, and I would wear like he would keep me in a leash, and I go. Ah. <laughs> there was a time Goldust went away for a bit, and then yeah. he started to earn videos for his new character, and it was just him at the window, of, like kids' windows, like looking in. What was he called? <laughs> Seven. Seven. Like, look up this promo. It's like they thought this is a good idea. He's just this creepy character making his debut into this video, and all he did was like creep up outside his kids' <laughs> like window. Three I and they're like, nah, cut this guy. It's he was busy just a beat him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sell me the gimmick. So what, what, what are we saying about this guy? He's not. <laughs> yeah, but what else? What What about... He wears a cape. <laughs> he was a nonce in a cape. <laughs> there you go. I'm a nonce in a cape. Are you looking this up, Dan? Just trying to find it? No. <laughs> No, no nonce in a cape. I think Don't Google that on the yeah. company Google account. <laughs> yeah, nonce cape to nonces. <laughs> Weirdly, <are> my favourites. <laughs> it's like I love the idea. He was pitched it. He's like, I'm not being a nonce. You get to wear a cape. All right. Well, we'll give it a spin. See what they th- they make of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Um, <laughs> Scatman. I don't know. I was trying to think of a pun of a superhero. Uh, what would you, what would your wrestling character be if you got the finger, uh, the young the boy prince or something fingers. You know, like more, like influenced by Joffrey from Game of Thrones. You you do a great, yeah. No, I I'm sticking with yeah. I'm gimmicking you as if I'm the boss. Your fingers and your finishing move. You just put your long finger down their throat and I tap out. <laughs> oh, that, that's no, I put my finger down their throat and it comes out their bum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or if you want to shock it, it you home. do it the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> What if it? What if it goes in their bum? It comes out their mouth, and then just boop, yeah, one fatal blow to the nose. And you're saying is like if you're fighting this Sunday, I'm gonna finger you, and they're like, oh, no fingers. Wow. <laughs> so we're saying fingers, fingers the mole and the, the bear. Mole and the bear, yeah, that's fun. That's yeah. a lot of fun. Here's the an interesting fact. Yeah, people, I want to see that. I want to see a wrestling. Yeah. Wrestling podcast. Yeah, should, yeah, well, listen. If, again, if we can figure it out, I'm open to doing it. There's a, there's such a wealth of funny shit. Yeah, there's material like every week, and yeah. then like you say, the old stuff. Yeah, people love you talking about that, mm. so you yeah. combine. It's a very thing. nostalgic thing, is wrestling. Like yeah. people have like a two year period, and that's the only period they enjoy. But they fucking love that period. Yeah, I I, I did love it. Like yeah, I absolutely loved yeah. it. Like, have you ever watched? Terrible promos. They're my favorite. Like promos and wrestling. Like you know where people are shouting down the cameras. I'm gonna get like. There's one. There's this guy called Sandig, and he's have you seen it? The CCW. I've seen and like this guy goes, "What the fuck just happened out there?" And he goes, "Oh, what do you mean? Are you blind?" Oh, it's just Jesus! <laughs> it's so fun. And then do you know Lex Luger? Yeah, he yeah, does one. Right. And like he, the Super Bowl? Yeah. he was massive. Oh, he comes out and the guy's like, "Well, how do you feel?" And he's like, "What do you? What? 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 So I'm gonna face this Billy. What's his name? at Super Brawl." And he's like, so, "Super Brawl. What's it called? I don't even know what's called." Blah. And he goes, "Super Brawl. Super Brawl Saturday." And then he gets all angry and tries to take his shirt off. I can't come off. And then he goes, "And your t-shirts are too tight, too, Billy." <laughs> and storms off. It's ten out of ten for like. Oh. Like you could do like if you if if you did it. And obviously, it's just all hypothetical. I'm like, I think that'll be fun just doing that. But like, to promo the podcast, you could do Cut some bad promos. Bad yeah. promos. Yeah. There's the time Scott Steiner and WCW just came out to the ring with a fucking Bengal tiger. 
for no reason. Not addressed he, or anything. He just went, I want to have a tiger. Yeah. There was a tiger backstage and he went, I want to take this tiger out to the ring. That was like the time it. Kieran was doing, this is years and years ago, Kieran was doing was, a game. I mean, hold on. I want to, he, he brought a fucking like, tiger. <laughs> Kieran was doing five minutes at the path and brought a fucking, brought a cougar. Out, but, uh, yeah. No, he did <laughs> That's what we want to say, isn't it, Kieran, with a python on his shoulder? <laughs> he came out one night with a guitar on, and like, you know the way he, like, he'll fuck about eventually, he'll play a song, but he likes having the guitar there. He, his short must have been, his spot must have been shorter than he thought it was, because he came out with a guitar, did like five minutes of material, got like, fla- like the light flashed, and he just went off. So he's just a man on stage with a guitar, but never <laughs> once played it or, or did anything with it. Look like it just looked like a big necklace, <laughs> like Flava Flav. <laughs> I love that. At no point did he play it. That's yeah. fucking brilliant. At no point. No, we should do that more often. That'd be funny. Yeah. What would the rest on podcast? See, yeah, it needs to be like a move, mm-hmm. suplex or something. <laughs> Well, that's a great name. Probably take <laughs> the suplex podcast. Yeah. <laughs> the 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 pile driver. That's quite good. Yeah. Something pile driver. Right. You figure could make some right. fun art, and then you could do oh, the merch. Could be t- fun old you wrestling t-shirts. Literally cross out uh-huh. there. It looks so strange. You're no, he like, has. <gasps> he does some lazy eye. I won't bring it up. Um, oh, did I tell you about this yesterday? No. Oh, I told him. It's so sly. <laughs> you mentioned uh-huh. this. So on the back of my phone. I have the podcast sticker, right? The logo, yeah. which I got done by shout out Diego Pimentel, right? Who? Diego Pimentel. <laughs> he's from Diego. Blase. <laughs> he, uh, he does like all this great American podcast artwork. I got in touch with him, got him to do this. And I have that on the back of my phone. Mm-hmm. So I was taking a me- Not me- your son. Not like your son, no. your wife, nothing. No. Your own face. Me. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a meeting yesterday before the gig pretty big meeting excited about it let's see what happens i have my phone sitting like this the meeting's going well it's only a half hour meeting before the show so going well we're sort of wrapping it up waitress comes over with the machine to pay and she goes uh oh said um is that as i like you know we're waiting for it to connect or whatever she goes is that you on the thing and i said yeah yeah i said yeah that's me um that's my podcast i said although the guy uh i said i was i was raging with him he's giving me like a real a real lazy eye and I said I do have a wee bit of a lazy eye but like not that much but I decided to just keep it because it's funny and she went let me see she looked at me and went you do you do you do <laughs> you do have a lazy eye and I said ha ah, no but at least you've said that now yeah. and then she went yeah she goes it, it is quite she goes it's that one there isn't it and I was like as a joke I was like yeah I just I said I keep my head slanted a wee bit so yeah. it cancels it out and she's like no no you definitely do you have a lazy eye yeah. and then I was when she left I was like that's crazy and then the, yeah. honestly the guy I meeting went have you always had it I yeah. was like why are we and all you're like looking at like, this lazy what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking he's about? there I'm like yeah. brother listen <laughs> um, but yeah I do have a wee bit of a lazy eye but look we all have a, I we didn't all. Know you that. have a bit of dough now don't you Bit of money, bit of moolah, bit of Skrillex. I mean, it like, depends. In sorry, it, uh, Skrillex yeah. is not a term for money, and I'm no. not going to let you Sorry, Skrillex. <laughs> Skrillex. Isolate that when yeah. he put his hand on his knee. Um, you're like an old theatre guy. Yeah. Oh, I said Skrillex. <laughs> oh. Oh, what me. am I like? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Never tell you about my teacher. It's okay, Graham. I've got the playground. Oh, I um, can edit your clips. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, on a, on a, in a on a world scale mm-hmm. no but yeah. like what I'm saying could you get a doctor to fix your eyes Jesus Christ David <laughs> I could that something you could do uh, he's not Elon Musk for fun I'm sake. sure th- mm-hmm. well here's what I would do I oh. would go to Turkey oh, no. and be like listen I need this sorted <laughs> you'd like, end up like Steve Buscemi when you come I'm trying to do it cheaper <laughs> but I would I would yeah. point to the wrong eye I would get yeah. the wrong eye done so I'd have two lazy eyes which would, would oh, which actually might cancel each other out yeah you'd be like you know the third hyena from the Lion King <laughs> oh. <laughs> so don't do it if that's what's going to happen yeah. yeah just don't get tired why don't the three why don't you start a wrestling podcast yeah I'll be the manager of the podcast <laughs> We rinse it. It's a cash cow. We milk it. We make enough money mm-hmm. so we can go to Turkey. Yeah. You get your cerebral palsy done. I get my eye done. <laughs> Sorry, and you get on. your teeth, hair, and face Fat. done. What do you mean, get your cerebral palsy done? Brother, if you've got four grand, you go to Turkey and get it taken care of. Yeah. 
they, they do it out there. They can do it all. Oh, they can cure cerebral palsy now? Yes. For four yeah. grand, yeah. Doctors, and you get a few yeah. fish bowls out of it. I don't want to. That's, yeah. it's, my, it's my gimmick. Yeah. You, you yeah. Know what I mean? yeah. I'd have no like stand-up. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. There'd be nothing interesting about it. Yeah, but we could do We could just... Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Why don't we do the podcast from Turkey? We'll get a sponsor by one of the clinics. Yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. That would be good. I'd just come back with flowing locks and like big riling teeth. I would love that. <laughs> oh, you don't need, but you just need one more put in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that would look weird because out of like a middle, I'd be like Tom Cruise. Yeah, where's it looks coast. great, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you know? You're a blind mole. Like, you can't even see. I can see that. Oh, I can see that. This guy. I can <laughs> fit through that. Yeah, you know what? You weren't complaining about it when you dick between the other day, were you? <laughs> No, I was yeah, saying, like, go on and pat. Ah. No, no, no. <laughs> There's me and four other decks and I still didn't touch a side. Like, sides. we mole clit? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you say we mole clit? Yeah. <laughs> That's your penis is, William. A <laughs> 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 On that note, um, yeah. I think we'll wrap it up there. Guys, listen. On yeah. the wee mole clit. <laughs> um, give it a final plug. Where, where, do, where do people say Because I'm not, like, a... Uh, smart guy so i'm going like where do i access it is it on is it on or how do i find it the blob 4od it'll be on 4od from may the 6th so that's fours on demand streaming yeah. service like bbc iplayer do I, they put it on youtube i think, think they'll probably put it they on put YouTube, youtube as well and if they do do that watch it there yeah share it put it in your socials all your stories let everyone know support it yeah and suck it the rest of the uk and ireland yeah. william of orange deal yep that's what it's called it yeah william of orange deal Oh, the podcast can be called Suck It. Uh, William of Orange Deal. Yeah, it can't be called Suck It. We're all about algorithm. The, the, oh, the powers right. that be won't like it. Right, the, we'll the call kings, it the Moklet. The kings of uh, content. What suggestions would you have for calling a wrestling podcast for algorithm? Oh, for algorithm? Um, it depends. Your algorithm is more the title of the episode. What about Slam in the Ring? Or something to do with the ring being slammed? I'm sure that's yeah. already taken and it's not the sort of thing you think it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, either way, we can double up. Slam in the ring. Yeah. Um, it sounds so like, ah, it sounds sore. Yeah. We'll think of something. Yeah. That'll yeah. be good. Top, so you, okay. top rope. Something off the top, the top rope. rope, that'll be taken probably, but that's it good. It is, yeah. But yeah. you guys are committing to it now. You're starting to wrestle on podcasts. Yeah, we've been talking Exclusive. about it for ages. Yeah. Yeah. Exclusive, Exclusive yeah. announcement. Exclusive yeah. announcement. Yeah. yeah. Great. Rings, All right. Ring um, Pardon? Ring sting. The ring sting? The ring sting. Yeah. <laughs> ring sting. Again, probably t- if you Google that, mm, yeah. someone probably has it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dan, do you have any last... Oh, tickets for the live podcast. We didn't even talk about it, but the live podcast is on the 9th, 9th of September. Woo! Waterfront oh. Hall. At this point, I don't know. I was going to say I don't know if it isn't if it's sold out or not but that might make me look stupid because people will be like mate it's you you guys sold seven tickets there's definitely still tickets available. but you know what we're excited about we're excited about seeing how many tickets have been sold from we've started the podcast tonight yeah 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 because yeah, they went on sale today yeah. um so we'll have a look at that after give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> more more get back in your hole naughty naughty mole <laughs> give me the mallet and i'll just <laughs> whack him down <laughs> keep avoiding it um yeah so if, if you want to come and see the live podcast it's uh, Kieran and Dave are joining me. We are making, or already will be live, but a pre- the previous live one we did in the small limelight room with Dave, with Kieran. Eventually, down the line, we will put the one with William and Mickey on, which was wild. We'll put that up, we'll make it public so you can see what a live podcast is like, but doing the waterfront is going to be a whole different kettle of fish. The stand-up from Aaron Butler. We'll put the link in the description. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, my tour is on shine.net i'm doing a, a northern ireland tour and then we're adding uk dates and some european stuff i'm in the states in october canada 15th of may i don't know if we have added another show but it's sold out but there may be at this point a late show on sale or a show the day after or day before anything you want to plug yes the day after the live podcast 10th of september i'm doing the ulster hall for sure there'll be tickets available for that so oh you'll yeah. sleep on sunday yeah i will sleep on sunday that's if i'm not you know I doing gear with them all but um, all being well <laughs> would you like a wine <laughs> please isolate that and that's the clip this week <laughs> that's how he got people to do, do the blast would you like a line <laughs> <laughs> all the reactors are like oh please Mr. Mole <laughs> um, but yes I'm doing the Ulster Hall with my new show Bits and Pieces on the 10th of September and then rest in the next day out of respect for Grand Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> sorry what <laughs> brother William um, 
Uh, my two limelight shows are basically sold out, so we're putting on a third in limelight one. I think Ooh. that'll be in November ish nice. time. Nice. Um, Which is November in Irish for those that don't speak Gaelic. <laughs> And then I think the only thing I have coming up is I'm doing the Dundella Supporters Club on the 30th of April. So all the prods get down for that. Can Comedy I do that too? Yes, I said to you about it. If you yeah, want okay. it, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, it's great to see this blap coming out. I like to see friends do well. People Bless. in the podcast love yous. I love yous. People need to go support it. Share it out, like you say. Put it in your Instagram story. Channel 4 will see all that support. It'll hopefully lead to more. Yep. Congratulations on it. You've Thank done a great you. job. Thank you. We were blessed. I love you both a lot. Love you. Give me a hug. Nah, I love see you later. <laughs>